Okay, so we like the vlog to be people. I'm doing a second vlog a lot sooner than I thought. I thought that was gonna bomb, but you really enjoyed it. So this week, well, from last week, it wasn't last week, from the last vlog, one of the biggest questions I got was how do you stay fit and still eat cakes? And it's a common question. So I thought I would do a kind of a vlog, but also do a slog. And when I say a slog, I mean like a sit down vlog. Did I make that word up? Slog? Anyways, I thought I would sit down and kind of talk through what I do at the gym, what I do at the gym, um, the exercise I do, what I think works for me, and try and kind of give a little bit of that. Now today is Monday, and literally as I started the last vlog, I'm actually going to London again to film with Tastemade. I figured I probably shouldn't show you all of that again because you're just gonna be like, Matt, your vlogs are the same. So I'll do something slightly different. We'll do something tonight with Cookie. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go to London. But quickly, quickly, before we start this vlog, I'm gonna do a Q&A in like two weeks. So can you please leave a comment in the video, let me know the question you want for your Q&A and like your name or where you're from, just so some details so I can shout you out. So, so yeah, send me your questions in the comments below and let me know what you want me to answer. Have fun with Mr. Octopus. So I've just got the taste made, we're about to do a live stream. So last time I was here, I was in this part doing like a hands recipe, and now I'm fully topless doing a live stream. We just finished. Oh my goodness, I can't explain to you how hot it is. So under these lights, it gets so hot. <laughs> During the middle of it, my microphone slipped off. So usually if you're wearing clothes, you would stick a microphone to your top but because I put it on my skin, I got so hot it slipped off my chest. And then the microphone ended up in my belly button. So I'm gonna head out now, I need to get across London to another meeting. So I'm gonna pack up my goods and I'm gonna go. Okay, so I am back from London after a pretty long day. And now Sasha and I are gonna go for a dog walk. It is a lovely evening, as you can see, the sun is setting. So we're gonna go do that. Should we go? Tuesday now. Um, so I've just been doing this guy all morning. I've been making a tart, just taking pictures. So I'm going back to London again tonight and the reason is because I'm going to a book launch for Juliet Sear. Juliet is releasing a book called Kawaii Cakes. Is it called Kawaii? Something Japanese? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to a book launch and there's going to be quite a lot of foodie people there which I'm really hoping to meet. And there potentially might be some like really big food YouTubers there. And I'm really, really nervous about meeting them. I said to Sasha in bed last night, I was like, what if I see that person? What do I say? Like, I don't want to say anything. And she was like, you need to go speak to them. So I'm trying to pluck up my courage to go. My head's just fallen down. I'm trying to pluck up the courage to go and speak to them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish this thing and then I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go to London. Right, so it is Wednesday morning now. Um, basically, I tried to film. I'll put a few bits in from last night. I tried to film, but it was so loud in that room that I was like, and you just couldn't hear anything I was saying. So it didn't really make sense to be vlogging there. But I was really lucky I got to meet some amazing people. I got to meet Cupcake Gemma. Like, I met her and I had to apologise. I was like, I am fangirling you so bad. Like, she was the nicest person ever. Such an inspiration as like a businesswoman, as a baker, and as a YouTuber. 
So that was like really surreal for me. Um, and then it got really rainy and I looked like a drowned rat. And now I need to go to the gym because I need to record the fitness part of this blog. Vlog? Blog? I get so confused. I need to record the fitness part of this vlog which is going to go in next. Okay, I'm just about, <laughs> I'm just about to set up my, my setup, my setup for my slog, my sitting down vlog. And I've watched a lot of other YouTubers and they have like really nice backgrounds. So I turned the lights on next to the bed. I made the bed, I put the pillows, but actually secretly everything's on the floor. And I'm going to put the camera on the makeup table and I'm just going to sit here and make it look really picturesque. So you ready for the, the slog bit? Okay, the slog part of the, uh, the slog part of the vlog? I'm getting so confused, I'm not going to use that word anymore. Quick interruption, I realise I have food in my hair in the start of the video. And I also don't have a microphone, so it sounds a little bit echoey. So, sorry for the food hair and the microphone, but carry on. So, I wanted to talk about my fitness journey and kind of where it all started. So I'm gonna, I've been searching through Facebook, trying to find really old pictures to show you what I looked like before I started Top of Speaker. Take it back to when I was like 16, so I went to boarding school and I was this skinny little small kid, okay? I was really small compared to all of my friends and I felt like quite inadequate compared to them because I just didn't grow up as quickly as them and they were all really tall. And then I went to university and I was just skinny, like you can see the pictures, I was just like a really skinny kid. But I went to university and it was all you could eat food. So you got this meal card and you could eat as much food as you wanted. So I basically would eat chicken and rice. I'd have like six meals a day. You could go in as many times as you want. And I would go in with this card. I would get a plate of chicken and I would get a plate of rice. And then I would go to the gym and then I would go get more chicken and rice. And literally my diet was just eating chicken and rice. So I was like 20 at this point probably. And so I came back from America, I came to England, and I was just like, this big, big, and I just put on those muscle, and turned from a very skinny kid to this like muscly guy. And so I did a year of uni, I finished uni, well I didn't do a year of uni, I finished my final year of uni, and basically, basically then I went to London. I was going to move to New York, but I decided to move to London and stay with Sasha. Um, we're getting really deep here. And, and then I moved to London and I got a full-time job. I had time on my hands because I wasn't studying and most importantly, I had disposable income. I had money to spend. So I started baking and I was awful. Like you've seen the pictures, I'll put pictures in of where I kind of started and it was just really bad. And I started to get a little bit better um, and then I did this competition at work and I won the company Bake Off, which like really inspired me. I won this competition and that's when I started Topless Baker. Someone was like, you really like the gym, you should start baking naked. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna cook naked, but why don't I do it topless? So I started this Topless Baker, I carried on the gym, and I realized that I just loved cakes and eating sweets and just food in general so much that I kind of didn't want to do the whole like really obsessive gym thing anymore. I wanted to do like baking and a little bit of exercise. Which leads me to the exercise part. So I used to be, like I said, super into the gym. I'm not really that into the gym anymore, but I just kind of maintain it because I've started this thing called Topless Baker, I don't know if you know, and I kind of need to stay topless for at least a few years. So I still go to the gym to maintain that. But this is what I do, guys, okay? For me, I'm not a fitness expert, I'm not a nutritionist. I just kind of learned from watching videos online. So I wouldn't take what I do as like gospel. It's not necessarily correct, but for me, it really works. And it's kind of three things. So the first thing is, compound lifting. So I do a lot of compound exercises. So that is squats, deadlifts, and bench press. And the reason I think I do those is because they're kind of full body workouts. So when you're doing a squat and you're getting really low and you're putting the weights on and everything, it kind of engages your whole body. So even though it's on your back and you're kind of doing your legs, it engages your core and you're just trying to keep your whole body stable to squat. So squats are really important, I think, as an exercise. Um, deadlift, really important again as well. Although it kind of does your hamstrings, again, it's like this full body motion. So I do a lot of deadlifts. I generally just do like three sets of eight repetitions. Um, and then bench press, do it all the time to do my chest. So those are kind of my three core exercises that I do. When I go to the gym 
three or four times a week. I try and go four times a week. Sometimes I go three. I go for about 40 minutes. I don't do any cardio, okay? I don't do any running. I've got bad knees. I hate running. I get really out of breath. I'm not a good runner. And then kind of the second point, did I say there's three points? Maybe there's only two points. The second point to this is your diet. Now, if you really want to get into fitness and you really want to be like super, you need to you need to eat a really balanced diet. I mean, you need to be doing the chicken and rice thing if you really want to do it. But at the same time, I think you can live a balanced lifestyle. So I have eggs for breakfast, I'll have some like pasta and chicken for lunch. And then for dinner, we'll have, again, some like meat and carbs, like chili con carne with rice. But then I'll eat a cake, okay? So I never deprive myself of chocolate or cake or sweets or anything because I've been to the gym. I think for me, I've exercised, I deserve that cake. And I think I'm quite lucky in that I'm able to maintain it. I think you can eat healthy and eat a balanced diet, but I think you can treat yourself when you want. So that is kind of what I do to stay fit. And I don't know if it was a very good explanation, but for me, it's just going to the gym three or four times a week. It's doing weights, compound lifting, and it's eating a balanced diet, okay? It's about eating kind of healthily, but then also treating yourself when you want. So I never ever skip a dessert. I never make myself guilty for eating chocolate. So that's kind of a mantra. It's all about balance, um, so yeah. It is Thursday now, so it is actually vlog day. The vlog is coming out today. It is 12 o'clock, so I am editing right now. But I thought I could say goodbye because last time I didn't end the vlog and I didn't actually say goodbye. Let me get cooking. All right, cooking. So when we end the YouTube video, we say, don't forget to subscribe to Top of Bacon. Bye. So can you do it with me on three? Ready? One, two, three. Don't forget to subscribe to Top of Bacon. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Come on, let's try again, ready?